Plum Tree Among the Skyscrapers. She's travelled for years through tangled forests and formal gardens, edged along hedgerows, set up a stall on tenanted farms, then moved on, restless, empty-handed sometimes, sometimes with fruit in her arms. She's hopscotched through graveyards and parks, settled down in allotments, clung to a church roof by a toe. She's pitched camp on vergers and hard shoulders, stumbled on threadbare moors above the tree line and slummed it on wasteland, but dug in on steep hillsides and rough ground. She was queen of the May on a roundabout once, in a roundabout way. She's piggybacked across trading estates, hitched in a missile thrush beak, drifted with thistle down. She's thumbed a lift into town. Now here she is, in a cracked slab, in a city square, in a square mile, mirrored by glass and steel, dwarfed by money and fancy talk. Hand-me-down brush, pre-loved broom, to the paid-by-the-minute suits and umbrellas and lunchtime shoppers, she's a poor Cinderella, rootling about in a potting compost of burger boxes and popped poppers. In that world... Orchard and orphan are one and the same. But she's here to stay, plum in the middle, and today she's fizzing with light and colour, outshining the smug sculptures and blubbering fountains. Centred and powdered, she's staging a one-tree show with high-vis blossoms and lip-gloss petals. She'll season the pavements and polished stones with something like snow.